Yo, what's up? This is your boy, Darren Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. And today I just want to talk about um, Monday's opening game between the Memphis Tigers and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Um, as for Memphis, um, this is the Tigers' first game of the year on the road. Don I-40 uh, East, West End in Nashville against the Vanderbilt Commodores facing um, um, Jerry Stackhouse, uh, former NBA player, great NBA player, um, a coach. He's now the head coach of the uh, Commodores. Uh, had to pretty much come in and rebuild, rebuild, rebuild that uh, program last year. Um, he pro years prior, prior, year prior to that, still, you know, molding that team into his own um, vision. Uh, Penny Hardaway, you know, been in, you know, at uh, Memphis since 2018. Got him to the tournament, you know, last year for the first time since uh, 20, I think 2014, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, got him in the tournament, got him in the second round against Gonzaga, played him pretty tough, but fell short in that game. He had a season full of uh, turnover guys going to the NBA. But um, guys going to the NBA, guys transferring, but it's what's uh, water under the bridge now because you got a new squad on the team, on um, the roster now. New squad, um, got Kendrick Davis, the, the best. You know, the best uh, transfer portal prospect in the country. You got Kendrick Davis, Kyoto Kennedy, who um, was going to commit to uh, Vanderbilt. The Memphis flipped him. Now he's um, with the Tigers now. So that's a little, me some history, some hard feelings right there. But we'll see everything play out in this game. Now, I know some there are some people complaining about the Tigers, you know, lack of scoring in those um, exhibition games that um, they played uh, not too long ago against uh, Lane College and Christian Brothers University. People, you know, making a big deal out of um, Christian Brothers University had a lead at one point in that game. I think Lane College, Lane College had a, a lead in their in their matchup with Memphis as well, but they lost, they both lost and. I didn't even, I didn't really uh, make too much out of those games because I know they were just ex, uh, experimenting with stuff and treating that treating the game as such the exhibition match, exhibition uh, exhibition uh, match, and that's what it was, you know. And that lineup, I'm pretty sure Memphis ain't gonna bring that up. Penny Hardaway ain't gonna bring that lineup out there opening night against uh, <laughs> Vanderbilt. So I think um, Kyoto Kennedy is going to be in the lineup. I think I know um, Kendrick Davis is going to be at the one, uh, the point guard. Um, John Lawson I think is going to be at the small forward. DeAndre Williams a power forward. Center will be uh, Cal, not uh, Malcolm Dandridge, Big Malco. But what's the expect from this game, man? Um, I would say. Let's just see, I would like to see how they come together as a group, as a unit, as a veteran team. You know, this year, you know, Penny Hardaway has decided to go with that, that more, that, that uh, veteran, you know, tailored approach to competing for a championship. You know, we've seen many other programs done it in the past. You know, and I like to see how that work in this game. How that's gonna come out, how that's gonna factor in. You know, how they, you know, flow throughout the game, working with one, one another. You know, how often we're gonna see Ayla in this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's gonna, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna come off the bench, um, play off the ball. I was hearing a lot about that. Um, that uh, I think that takes a lot of pressure off of him, too. You know, and. Now that you got Kendrick Davis on this team, that you don't have to expect Alo to be a distributor, a scorer, you know, grabbing rebounds, doing all this other stuff. He can just be just come in, you know, play off the ball, play a point guard, be that traditional point guard that we all know he can be. 
and, and, and contribute and win, you know. So we'll see how it play out. But Vanderbilt, I like to see. Also see how I like to see how this new how Memphis is gonna deal with this new um, backcourt that um, Vanderbilt has. You know, um, I think it's two transfer portal guys that. Uh, um, Stackhouse picked up one guy from uh, UC uh, Davis transfer Ezra Man Ezra Manjohn and uh, three star uh, prospect uh, Paul Lewis. Um, you know Paul Lewis and uh, Manjohn. Uh, Paul Lewis comes from he was in Maryland. You know. So both of these hearing that uh man John average with fifteen points per game, three point six rebounds, three point four assists at UC Davis. And three years got three years of experience at that school. Lewis um comes from Maryland. You know, it was a pretty um a pretty good uh score, three point shooter from what I've um read on this guy. So I'd like to see how, you know, the Memphis defense that has been known to be very stout over the years deal with this this duel right here, you know, and it's Ezra Manjohn and Paul Lewis, you know, and I like to just see, you know, I also like to see, what I like, I like to expect, uh, I like to expect what I expect to see is how you know, how how Kendry Davis performs as a as a distributor of this team as the point of the a guy running the point guard as a score when he when needed to be how does that I went to that chemistry between him and uh Cal what I've been hearing and uh doing has been going on it's been going on pretty well during training camp I like to see how those two um work together you know between Kyle and um Davis how um like to see how Davis um, can, you know, get guys in position to, to um, you know, to succeed on the court, you know, since he's going to be running the point. You know what I'm saying? And also, man, if this game turns out to be, you know, a loss for Memphis or they they lose, you know, ugly or, you know what I'm saying, this – Come out sloppy, you know, a sloppy win. Don't don't just don't think too much into this, man. It's only the first game, bro. You remember last year, they got off to like a a sluggish start, you know, and then they ain't sluggish. They'll, they'll start to ravel until Penny made those changes against the uh, after the SMU game where he um you know went off on a. Uh, Old buddy at uh, the Daily Mechian. And <laughs> so, it ain't, it, you know, just because it's one, just because uh, the one, they lose the first game of the year, don't mean that's how this team is going to look the rest of the season. You know, so everybody has to just chill if they don't get the results or the outcome or the performance that they want to see. You know, now don't forget. Please don't forget that this is an SEC school, a team that is being coached by, you know, one of college basketballs of becoming um, talents as a, in regards to being a head coach. And just like Penny, he has, you know, experience at the professional level, at the highest level, in my opinion, just like Hardaway. And it was a really good score. And this team, is, he has a... Um, a veteran um, built team as well. So be interesting to see how that plays out for Memphis, you know. So don't don't think too much into this game if it doesn't go the way that you want you think it should go. Just being clear. Just letting you know. But I, th I think Memphis will win this game though. It's gonna be close, but I think Memphis wins it. So we'll see everything plays out on Monday. Monday, um, 
Hey, Monday at what, 4 o'clock if I'm not mistaken? 4 7 o'clock? Let me see. Let me look at the time again, man. Let me see a quick. Let me see something, man. Check the time for this game, man. It's at uh, 7 o'clock. Yep. Monday at 7 o'clock. At uh, West End down in uh, Vanderbilt in Nashville. Tip off Memphis Tigers versus the, Mel the Vanderbilt Commodores at 7 o'clock on West End down in Nashville. So we'll, we'll, have to, we'll see how that play out. Um, I'm trying to go live after the game. Whatever the, the uh, statistics and um, you know, quotes. Anything that was said about Penny, I was gonna, you know, play it in the, uh, the post game presser and just get my analysis from there. But, anyways, man, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel with this game. What do you expect to see from this, this from the Tigers in Monday night's matchup against the Commodores? Also, in the description box below, check out StrikeSevenSports.com for latest content on the NFL, the NBA. Memphis Tigers football and basketball program content and more. Have a blessed night. Peace. I'm out.